The lawyer at the center of the attempt to remove Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis from the 2020 Georgia election case testified before the state Senate committee. She talked about what exactly she says she found that she believes should disqualify Willis. NBC's Blaine Alexander is following this in Atlanta for us. Blaine, this arguably takes the hearing from the legal arena of a courtroom into the political arena. Walk us through what's happening and why. Well, Chris, that's exactly what it does. So to be very clear, what's happening here at the State House is different from what is happening a couple of blocks away at the Fulton County Courthouse. In that situation, the judge will decide whether or not Fannie Willis will stay on the case. Now, here at the State House, what lawmakers are doing is they are looking into whether or not there was any misuse of state funds and the misuse of power for personal gain. Those are the two issues they're looking at here. Now, what they can actually do if they find that there's any wrongdoing, they can either refer this to another body or they can propose new law to kind of curb something like this in the future. But practically, their hands are really relatively tied and there is a limit on what authority they have in this situation. Now, that's practically. Politically, of course, is another matter. The chairman of this Republican-led committee tells me that this is going to take many months, in his words, to complete this investigation. He says that they will likely want to hear from Fonnie Willis herself down the line and they're not ruling out a subpoena if she doesn't come here voluntarily. Now, that's what Republicans are saying, but the Democrats on this committee say that the entire thing is politically motivated. Take a look. We really should not be doing this. We don't have a role here. That judge is going to make a decision with a couple of weeks. That's the role that ought to be played out. We ought to not be doing that. We ought to be trying to find a way to expand Medicaid in Georgia, quite frankly. But we don't have a role in this particular situation right here. Now, you just heard from uh, the Republican, the Democrat there on that committee. However, the chairman tells me that there is nothing political about this. They say that it's their responsibility to look into any allegations of impropriety. But, Chris, to your point earlier, the fact that this has moved from the courthouse to the state house really kind of underscores the degree to which these allegations over the past two months ha have in largely, largely eclipsed even the charges and the allegations and, and the evidence against Donald Trump and his co-defendants themselves. Chris.